Hey, Brandon here. Welcome to the channel and thanks for tuning in. Got a Luke McCaffrey scouting film for you here. If you come across this channel, welcome. You're either uh, tuning in because you want to take a look at Luke McCaffrey and see what he looks like on the field, or maybe you watched my scouting, my full scouting report here on my channel. Either way, welcome. There's three traits that I want to take a look at with Luke McCaffrey. Now, he's gonna most likely going to be a day three pick in the 2024 NFL draft. He may even be an undrafted free agent, but if you play Dynasty, you play Fantasy, you know, we're looking for fourth and fifth round draft picks, right? And I think Luke McCaffrey fits the bill. He's Ed McCaffrey's son. He's Christian McCaffrey's brother. And I'm telling you right now, there's an NFL team that's going to take a swing with this kid just for the bloodlines alone. So we're going to go right through here. There's three traits I kind of want to watch and take a look at. It's his ball skills and his, his ball tracking, his, his hands, and uh, his concentration at the catch point is fantastic. I mean, I think he's got some short area quickness. He's not going to be a guy that's going to beat you all over the field deep, uh, you know, with elite speed or anything, but he's just shifting. And, and, and can really get open, I think. And then his yak ability. So let's get through. And I encourage you at the end of the show, I'm going to link my scouting report for you as I go into his stats and kind of give you a little bit of background on Luke McCaffrey. But let's get right to it, man. His ball tracking and concentration. I'm not going to really go through and back and look at these, but just look at the, um, you know, this guy's a football player through and through. Just look at the ball tracking. Good, you know, gets his helmet ripped off, gets right back up. I mean, he's tough as nails. I love that physicality he brings to the table. But just look at some of these body adjustments, you know, to the ball, catching the ball. It's a really nice one-handed grab right here. Um, just got to love what you see with, you know, at the catch point with him. Um, holds on to the ball after taking the contact. Uh, what do we got here? He's another vertical. You know, good catch. You see the the toe tap at the end. This is a really nice catch on the boundary in the end zone. Um, getting open. Another play here. Again, look at the toe tap. I mean, let's take a look at that one one more time. All right, so again, good route running. Here he is at the bottom of the screen. Little little route running there. A little defensive manipulation. Boom, two feet in. Got to like that. Six foot two, 195 pounds. All right, so he's got some height to him. Um, again, just, I love the physicality he brings to the table after the catch point, you know, it's just, boom, he gets hit there, gets interrupted with his play and this kid's, kid's a tough football player, man. Tough football player. Love it. Again, here's just another good concentration ball tracking down vertical. I mean, he's a vertical threat. I don't think he's, like I said, going to be the fastest guy in the world, but I mean, the dude's got a little bit of wheels. Uh, I think he might be underrated coming into this class. All right, let's look at his short area quickness. Like I said, I don't think he's going to be a deep guy that's going to win vertically, although we just saw a bunch of plays that, you know, looked like he was winning vertically, but this is where I think he could be utilized in the NFL, right? The short area quickness around the line of scrimmage. We're going to take a look at some plays here. You know, he's, I think he's a twitchy route runner. I think he's a space creator. Um, headed to the senior bowl, which I'm really excited to watch. But again, look at the adjustment here. Really good. He could adjust for the ball. Good concentration. Turns around. Again, here he's just coming across the back of the end zone, creating some space for himself. Okay, here's like, again, just this is where I could see him being used as an offensive weapon in the NFL. All right. Um, this is a, a, you know, again, just a kind of lulled the defender to sleep, comes across the middle, holds onto the ball with contact. Again, the physicalness. I mean, dude is a physical football player. Christian McCaffrey is a physical football player. And I think an NFL team's going to take a swing with this kid. And I think he's shown enough skill on this highlight film here. You know, he started out at Nebraska as a quarterback and then, um, you know, Played running back a little bit, and then the last two years at Rice, he was a wide receiver, and he's excelled. So he's relatively raw. So his yards after catch isn't bad either. Let's take a look at what we got yards after catch. I mean, he's not the most elusive guy, not the, you know, his little stiff hips there a little bit, but, man, the kid, you know, he navigates his, well, his way well through the second level. Good vision, following his blockers, physicality at the end here, just, you know, getting every yard. There's another play right now. You know, again, he's just, a, I think he's, could just be a really nice sleeper on our dynasty teams. I'm going to be drafting this kid in every rookie draft, um, especially if he gets draft capital better than expected. But, you know, good length. Look at, look at the nice catch here. Goes up, gets the ball right there, bang. And then, you know, like I said, he doesn't have elite deep speed, but I'll, I'll take the short area quickness of wide receiver any day. Um, this is the last clip I wanted to do because physicality, I love physical players. Um, again, look at, look at the holds onto the ball. Keeps his balance, you know, more contact. 
So I don't know, man. I am a big fan of uh, Luke McCaffrey. Okay, I'm not expecting him to be a wide receiver one or a two on a team, but he could land himself in a good opportunity next year where he can contribute and be a flex player on our dynasty uh, rosters in 2024. So thanks for watching here, man. I'm going to uh, link my scouting uh, report on him too. So I'm going to go over some stats, some more depth about his skill set, his draft capital and stuff. Thanks for watching.